Okay, daily oral language sentence number 39. Allow me to put it up on your screen. Please take a look at it. Please copy it down. Please take a moment or two to fix it up, see what you can do. And then after I go over it, see how well you did. Excellent. So let's read it out loud. Please try and find my copy of Ernest Hemingway's novel, The Sun Also Rises, so I can give it to Sarah, Mom said. Okay, again, please try and find my copy of Ernest Hemingway's novel, The Sun Also Rises, so I can give it to Sarah, Mom said. First thing I'm going to ask you, I'm pretty sure you all know it already because I've done it so many times. Notice, this is a quoted sentence. Mom said most of the sentence up here, so I have to put it in quotation marks, but I'm going to ask you as I always do. What are the only two words that mom did not say out loud? And of course, the answer would be mom said, so I would separate it out with a comma. Excellent. The rest of the sentence, I'm, I have to show that she said it out loud, and there's one way that I can do that, and that's, of course, with quotation marks. So I would put quotation marks before please, and then I would put the closing quotation marks after the last word she said, Sarah, but notice I put it outside of the comma because I'm, that comma, even though it's not part of what she said, it's part of this sentence. And of course, the period goes after said at the end of the sentence. Oop, I kind of lost my period. Let's get it in there. Excellent. Let's continue. Please try and find. See, we have to capitalize, please, clearly. And then we have a little problem here. Please try and find. That's asking a person to do two different things if you have the word end in there. I'm asking you to do one thing. Please try to find, not and find. Because in this case, you're saying try and find. No, no, no. We want them to find. So please try to find my copy of Ernest Hemingway's novel. I'm going to capitalize Ernest, of course. I actually read this novel in college. Ugh, I wouldn't suggest it, but then again, different strokes for different folks. You might like it. Um, Ernest Hemingway is an excellent author. I would suggest um, other books by him if anybody ever has a question. He, Sun Also Rises is not my favorite, but it might be yours. Give it a shot. Let's capitalize Hemingway's as well. Now, how do we show that it was Ernest Hemingway's novel? I would apostrophize it, of course. So I'd put an apostrophe between the Y and the S. How do I spell novel correctly? Novel, N-O-V-E-L, good. Um, so let's take a look. Please try to find my copy of Ernest Hemingway's novel. Let's put a pause here, comma, the sun also rises. Let's put a comma after that as well. So I can give it to Sarah, mom said. Now, what do I do to the title of the sun also rises? Correct, I capitalize it. And of course, it's a title of a novel. Novels take the person a long time to write and for us to read, so I would underline it. Please be specific in your underlining. Make sure you're not underlining either of the commas before or after the novel, because those commas are not part of the novel's title. They're just part of the sentence. And then let's continue on. So I can give it to Sarah. A couple of things wrong here. Clearly, we want to capitalize the I. Singular I's always get capitalized. Let's capitalize Sarah as well. And are we done with this sentence? No, that is correct. There's still one more thing. We must capitalize the word mom because in this case, we're using it as her name. Really well done, everybody. Let's get this down correctly. Let's see what we have. So I have open quotes. Please try to find, not and find, because again, I'm asking you to do one thing, try to find it, not try and find it. That's two separate things. My copy of Ernest Hemingway's, notice I capitalize Ernest, I capitalize Hemingway. I put an apostrophe in his name because, and an S because it's his novel. There's my comma. The sun also rises, as you notice. I have a capitalized and underlined, and there's my comma afterwards as well to denote the pauses while I'm reading this. Now, please understand, you do not underline the commas because they're not part of the title, they're part of the sentence. And then I finish it up by saying, so I, I capitalize I, can give it to Sarah, comma quotes, capitalize Sarah, capitalize mom because I'm using it as your name. Really well done, guys and gals. Excellent job. Thank you very much.